Welcome to the eighth tutorial on beginning CSS. Today we're going to look at the font family rule in depth. Now we've used it before in our other tutorials, but we're going to expand upon it a little bit more um, in this tutorial. Now we're going to use the same code that we used in the last few videos. So what I want you to do first of all is delete the font family rule that we made in the last video. So let's go ahead and get rid of these two rules and we'll just go ahead and save our code. Now the font family property allows us to control what fonts get displayed in the browser and we can actually put several fonts in the rule and so basically that will ensure that at least one of your fonts gets displayed and not the default browser font and of course fonts are very important especially if you want to match a particular font to the theme of your website and what we're going to do now is create a new property up here in the body rule and we're going to go ahead and use again the font family property and the first font that we're going to specify is Verdana now Verdana is a font that's used in a lot of websites and it's especially browsers that are on PCs so I want to go ahead and specify that first and we'll talk about that in a minute in terms of how the ordering works so we're going to specify Verdana first and then we're going to specify Arial which is another very common web font next we're going to specify Geneva and finally we will specify Arial Black and let's actually uh, expand this out a little bit more here okay so we have four fonts and let's go ahead and and let's go ahead and close out this property with a semicolon as we always do now what's going to happen is the browser is going to try to load Verdana first if it can't find it it will then try to load Arial and if it can't find Arial it will try to load Geneva and if it can't find Geneva then it will finally try to load Arial Black and if it doesn't find Arial Black the browser will load its own default font but the chances of that are pretty slim with these types of fonts that we've specified here so again you want to use common fonts you don't want to use a really obscure font because there's a good chance that the computer will not have that installed and therefore the browser won't be able to use it but again if you wanted to use an obscure font you can place that in your property but make sure you also have some generic fonts now Verdana is usually a font that is associated with PCs Arial is common to PCs and Macs Geneva is usually associated with Macs and Arial Black is associated with both Macs and PCs so I'm using very generic fonts here now let's go ahead and save this now keep in mind we are putting this in the body rule so the selector we're using is against the body that means in terms of hierarchy these fonts will be applied to all the child elements that are under body so let's go ahead and close the browser out and we will reload this and there you can see we've got our nice Verdana font that actually looks a lot better I think than Helvetica now again if it didn't find Verdana these would be Arial fonts but the browser did find Verdana so Arial was not loaded okay that is going to do it for this tutorial I will see you guys in the next CSS tutorial